how to connect TikTok shop with AliExpress. So this video will show you how we can get products from AliExpress and we sell them through TikTok shop and eventually to TikTok. So if that is what you mean by connecting AliExpress with TikTok shop, then this video is for you. So there are two methods that we can use to do the job and both of them involving apps. So let's just go to the app store real quick here and let's check the product, uh, the uh, popular platforms and check AliExpress. So what this does is that it will recommend you the top apps available in your local TikTok shop. So every TikTok shop region will have different uh, recommended apps as they are differently uh, optimized. But I found CJ Dropshipping and eProlo to be the best at doing it. So what, what the difference between this two is that CJ Dropshipping is, well, it's it's like a dropshipping catalog, right? So CJ Dropshipping is not exactly AliExpress, but they most of the time will have the same product that is sold in AliExpress with different uh, rates, with competing rates. So they're pretty much the same. But a Prolo, well, a Prolo is more optimized to uh, connect AliExpress uh, per se. So if you're really wanting to uh, connect your Ali, the AliExpress products, then use eProlo. Otherwise, if you're uh, platform agnostic and just want good products that are available in AliExpress, you will be good with CJ Dropshipping. And I recommend CJ Dropshipping more uh, if you're not really uh, dependent on AliExpress. So I'll, I'll address eProlo first because this is the app that enables us to uh, connect uh, AliExpress. So let's just uh, click learn more here because I want to show you more things. So this is a fulfillment service. Um, it is free and uh, it, it allows us to add products from AliExpress and show them in our uh, TikTok shop seller center. So let's just uh, so I have already installed the app over here uh, because so that's why the button the install button here uh, is showing the renew text instead of install and what you want to do is just click install it and and uh, fill in the information and authorize the app and after that let's go to eprolo and just go find your uh, just find eprolo.com in your search bar and let's log in. I'm going to log in with the email service that uh, I am using currently. So there you go. Now, the other thing that the next thing you need to do uh, when you are logged in in eprolo is to go to my dashboard over here and my dashboard and go to the store and click connect new store to connect your uh, store. And as you can see, eProlo is able to connect your eBay store, Shopline, ShipStation, Amazon, and Shopify. You want to choose TikTok. Well, I did it before, so I don't need to do it again. But if we click this button over here, you should be, able, you should be uh, transported to the TikTok authorization menu again, which is very easy to follow. I trust you to do it yourself. Okay, so now that we have connected our TikTok shop account to eProlo, uh, next thing that we need to do is to go to products menu on the left over here and click import Ali products. And next, let's click, uh, we need a plugin for here. So the way, so how this works is that we install the eProlo plugin from Google Chrome and you just have to click install. This will take you to the Chrome web store and you need to install this uh, extension by eProlo. I've already done it. As you can see, it is available here for me, but if you haven't, just click install. Okay, so the second step is to go to AliExpress. So let's just go to AliExpress to find products that we want to sell. And let's go to the dropshipping center to find the best products for dropshipping. 
wait let's wait for aliexpress to load okay so let's go to more here on the rightmost menu over here or you know oh yeah or it's in the account okay so in the accounts tab just scroll down and click ds center for drop shipping focused product and when the ds center is opened just change just find the products that you want to buy or you want to drop ship in this case i think i want to drop ship let's take this for example this camera uh, extension the canon eos r6 extension okay so this product is apparently uh good selling 37 sold alternatively you can just find the winning products uh for the best selling products over here but uh for the sake of tutorial i'm just going to pick this uh product over here okay so once you've uh chosen chosen your product over here you will see a any prolo logo over here on aliexpress what you want to do is to just click them and what this does is that eProlo will import the information within this product uh, for us to automatically uh, forward to TikTok shop. Okay, so import is successful. Let's go to eProlo to continue on our uh, product, uh, log, uh, product uh, push. So the push to store button here means that means we j we want to uh, push this product to our TikTok shop store. Okay, so what you want to do now is to just click push to store right now. And there are a few things to uh, that we need to take a look over here. Now, firstly is the product category. Now this product category refers to the category in TikTok shop. This is important to match the uh, product variants uh, that is available in AliExpress and on TikTok shop. So let's just make sure that the product category here matches the product. So excuse me for a second because this uh, interface is in my home uh, country language, but you, you should get the idea. So I will choose the uh, camera accessories uh, as the category and as you can see the product properties we need to match them from uh, Aliexpress to TikTok and the title here uh, this is just the uh, product uh, condition let's just say it's condition confirm okay so next you need to select the image uh, fear not the image can be generated directly from uh, the Aliexpress listing so you just need to choose I'll just choose all. Let's check all. Okay, and click confirm. All right, and next is the product description. Now, notice that uh, the product description cannot ex exceed 30 uh, pictures, but as you can see here, the description is already pretty good. You might want to change this to your local language and like uh, change the uh, criteria and obviously for drop shipping the rule of thumb is of course to not search for branded products i am aware of that uh, but in this tutorial i think this product will do just fine for uh, as an example so next is the weight and shipping and warranty uh, just make sure that you meet match uh, these and also lastly is the variance but as you can see you uh, the variants here are uh, only one you might uh, you might have a set of these attributes or properties for products that has more variants for example maybe like the electronics um, you just need to match them to your uh, once again your tech talk uh, the tech talk categories now the warehouse here will depend on your return warehouse so the way April works is that you will need to pay Aliexpress first. Uh, April will notify you to pay the uh, product price by from Aliexpress, and then April will do the fulfillment for you and ship them to the address. Now, since you've bought, you've bought the product and paid the product, should the customer uh, returns it, it will go to your warehouse and the product will be yours if they return it once again and the warehouse here just uh, choose the warehouse uh, that you have specified in TikTok shop uh, 
that you want to be chosen. And next is the product identifier code. The product identifier code is over here. Uh, when you go back to the uh, product page in AliExpress, the identifier code is this one. Now, if this doesn't work, just ask the seller of the identifier code. Just tell them that you want to uh, drop ship it. But in this case, I think this is the GTI. And if it doesn't work, uh, if it shows error marks, then just uh, ask the warehouse. Now, one thing uh, that you should note is that you have to check that your TikTok local shop allows drop shipping from cross border. And that is not the case for my home TikTok shop. So I cannot actually drop ship products that are from abroad. So uh, currently I'm not able to do this, but the, as you can see here, it shows the upload file type is invalid. Now this error uh, apparently has something to do with shipping and uh, and it, it's just not possible for me to uh, connect uh, foreign products that are from cross border and sell them directly in my TikTok shop because it is now in violation of my local TikTok shop policies. But uh, for you, if you have the option available, just click push to store and you should be uh, transported to TikTok shop to further edit the products and the products will be added for you. Now, secondly, is CJ dropshipping. Now, CJ dropshipping is very similar to this. Just go back to our TikTok shop seller center and just open CJ dropshipping. And once you've authorized CJ dropshipping over here, you install and authorize CJ dropshipping. It will take you to CJ dropshipping website. And in the CJ dropshipping website, you just need to find the products. And what's what's cool about CJ dropshipping is that it's it seems to be uh, like the, the architecture is made for dropshipping specifically. So as you can see, like for example here, uh, once you've added the authorization to your TikTok shop, just click one of the product that you want to dropship and it has the uh, button, uh, the connect button or the list button over here, uh, as opposed to the AliExpress. It's like it, it already knows that you're about to dropship this product. So. Now I have my Shopify store connected already in CJ, in CJ dropshipping, but for our case, it's a TikTok shop, right? So if I'm able to authorize this, uh, because I cannot authorize to CJ dropshipping either due to my uh, local TikTok shop policy, but you just need to change this uh, menu over here and just click list it now, and the same process will apply. Okay, so that is all from me. I hope you have a good luck. Thank you.